one and all. It is Tuesday. That can only mean one thing. It is Tuesday's House of Games. I'm joined by four great quizzers. One of them at the end of the week is winning the trophy. Who is it going to be? It'll be one of these four. Jenny McAlpine. Hello. <laughs> Felicity Ward. Hi. Joe Pasquale. Hey, and Hugo Monnier. Hey. Welcome, everybody. Now, I said we had some great quizzing. Anyone could win this trophy. Hugo. <laughs> Yesterday, a solid fourth. Yeah. But you're up against some good players here, right? Yeah, I kind of want to go into that automatic cliche sportsman's answer of, yeah, you, you never really lose, you just learn, and you're up <laughs> against some great opponents. <laughs> I was terrible. What did you learn from yesterday? What did I learn? Um, quizzing can be humbling. <laughs> quizzing can be humbling. <laughs> I want to get that in Latin and have it emblazoned <laughs> across the set. <laughs> Joe. Well played Richard, yesterday again, but thanks. it's going to be a competitive week, don't you think? Oh, it's, it's very competitive. What people say competitive, not at all. The second I sit in this chair, OK. Yeah. Also, when I say competitive, I, don't, I just mean there's good players here. Now, Felicity, you were top of the shop yesterday. I was top a of the shop. A win for you and, yes. uh, and a toolbox. It's going to be tough to, uh, to keep that crown, don't you think? I think that I'm going to play this like I play 10-pin bowling, which is strike, strike, gutter ball, gutter ball three. That's, oh, that's how beautiful. I imagine the week is going to so, go. Mm. Win, win, loss, loss, yeah. disappointing Friday. Yeah, yeah, go out with a real fizzle. That's sort of my <laughs> style. We should call Double Points Friday disappointing Friday from here on in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jenny, yeah. would you like to take a look at today's prize I collection? would definitely like to take a look. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, There are the salt yeah. pepper shakers, the shower curtain, Ooh. the decanter. Oh, a pack of playing cards. That's new. I wouldn't mind one of them. Nice. Uh, and... Yes, Joe, that is a compost bin. You saw me grinning, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, you're thinking, hold on, Jenny, what would you go for? I think I've got to take a Prezi with my little boy seven, but we could perhaps play Snap, so I'll have the uh, Oh, the playing cards. cards. Felicity? The salt and pepper shakers are very good, but my husband loves whiskey, so I might even... There you go. I mean, there's not whiskey in it, it's just oh. a decanter, but... Oh, don't uh... worry about it then. Uh, Joe? I'm split on two things here. One of them is decanter, the other one is I'd use that as a Superman cape. Oh, the shower curtain. Yeah, I'd have a Superman cape. cape all the time, mate. I imagine me naked stuck to it when the water's all steamy. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> this, uh, there we go. Hugo, what would you go for? Playing cards, I think. Playing cards. There you go. Let's take a look at uh, the scoreboard uh, from yesterday. These are the points you're carrying through. There we go, Felicity up top of the way four, down to Hugo at the bottom, but all to play for. Let's do it, shall we? Round one today is going to be... The answers in the question are going to go along the line. I'm going to ask each of you a question. Within the question, there will be some capital letters, and the answer to the question is an anagram of those capital letters. Jenny, you're up first. Our first category is dog breeds. So which dog breed is this, please? The answer will be in the question. Nowadays known as a racer, this dog's ability to outrun a young herd once made it useful for hunting. Oh, wow. What dog are we describing there? It's called a... What are they called when they go? Greyhound. Greyhound <laughs> is the answer. Well done, Jenny. Hey, that was... Yeah. I know, that, was, that doesn't look like an anagram of greyhound, does it? Not straight away, yeah. no. Okay. Felicity, a dog breed for you. And the answer is in the question. I'm glad you didn't just call me a dog. I appreciate that. Can you imagine? <laughs> Thank you. It'd be ahead of a show, wouldn't it? <laughs> when some jerk calls us cat lovers, we point to this feisty little terrier to prove them wrong. A uh, Jack Russell? Jack Russell. Well played, oh. it is okay. Jack Russell. Yeah. Joe. Thank you. A dog breed for you. Thank you. Do you know what? It's my pleasure. <laughs> uh, hidden within this question. <laughs> this small, trendy breed may bolt its food, then, with a full gob, drench you in slobber. Hmm. French bulldog. French bulldog. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Pasquale. Well done. Yeah. Hugo, dog breed for you now. Here we go. This dog's small stature makes dads hunch over to help them climb steps. Uh, Dashund. Is it Dashund? It is, little sausage dog. Well done, Hugo. Nicely done. Uh, we go back down the line. Jenny, your next category is... Sports people. Oh, gosh. Hidden from oh. sports people. But who have we hidden? The formula for this record-breaking tennis player is often the same. Win rallies, followed by game, set and match. It doesn't look like it fits in there, but it must be 
Serena Williams. Must be, mustn't it? Well played, it is well Jeff Russell. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. It doesn't, does it? It doesn't look like enough letters. It is Serena Williams. Well done. Well done. Well done to our question writers as well. They're very clever. Yeah. They're very writers. good. Felicity, a sports person for you. Using his long arm span to help him, places outside mm. the medals were rare for this US swimmer. Uh, it doesn't look like there's enough letters, but Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. I can't believe I've got a sports oh, question. Yeah. Michael Phelps, well played. It's Joe Pasquale. No, I don't want sports, Richard. You, you have no idea. You know, when you're a kid and you're you know, picking teams for football, I would always be the last kid to be picked, and no one ever wanted me. They would use me as the goalpost. So now I've got the cold shakes. It brings back that memory now. Where are they now, Joe? Where are they now, those guys? Oh, they're all billionaires in the city, I mean. <laughs> 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 Joe, we're going to get you through this. OK. Here we go. If you saw this competitor race in Beijing or London, you might have heard someone cry, oh, his bike crossed the line first. <laughs> Chris Hoy. Chris Hoy? <laughs> Joe Pascal. Yes! 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 Joe, you got picked. Oh, you got I'm, picked. I'm not the goalpost. You are oh, not the goalpost. Hugo, here is yours. You're a question of sport captain, so this would be a bad one to get wrong. Yeah. Pressure? Oh, no. Yeah, come on. He thrives on pressure. He eats it for breakfast. Do you think you're going to find this Formula One champion driving in the slow lane? Him? It doesn't happen often. Oh, Lewis Hamilton. It's a good anagram oh, again, well isn't it? Done. Lewis oh, Hamilton. God. Well done. Very nicely played. Good. None of them look like they fit in. None of them no. look like I know. Very Gang. clever. Eight out of eight. Yes. How about that? A round of applause, everybody. Oh. Eight out of eight. Tell you what, though, it's going to make looking at this leaderboard exciting, <laughs> isn't it? Who's in the lead? Um... Our early leader, Ugo Monnier, with two yeah, points. Yeah, Very well you. done. Yeah. And yesterday's champion, Felicity Ward, in last place. Wow. With two. <laughs> How about that? Should we play a pairs game? Ooh, yeah. yeah. Our pairs game today is... <laughs> My perfect match. In a pairs game, the player in the last place gets to choose their partner. Felicity... Let's say today that's you. <laughs> You're all in last place. Who would you like to play with? I'm going to go with Hugo. Oh. Just to Hugo. boost this. This is a team event, even though it's absolutely not. So, Felicity and Joe, if you'll swap places, please. Joe and Jenny are a team. Felicity and Ugo. Hey, Ugo Jenny. being picked first again, like the school playground, all over again. It is. Now, in my perfect match, we run our own dating agency. I'm looking for my perfect person. And I'm very exacting in what I want. <laughs> so, Jenny and Joe, I wonder if you could find me a perfect match. I'll tell you what I look for in a, in, a, in a partner. I look for someone that's had a UK number one single. That's what I like. Also, someone also who has appeared in Hollyoaks. Mm -hmm. That's what I look for, really, in a partner. Now, can wow. you tell me which of these two people would be my perfect match? James Corden or Rob Bryden? Ooh. One of those people meets both those criteria. Well, they both sing, don't they? Right? I think they've both had a number one. I think they've both. But one of them's been in Hollyoaks. Yeah, uh, Do you know okay. What I mean? Yes, I know which one's been in Hollyoaks. So Do you? Yeah, James is in Hollyoaks. That's where I would yeah. go. Yep, yeah, I'd go for James as well. So you think James Corden? James Corden is your perfect match. Is James Corden my perfect match? <laughs> Absolutely yeah. right. Very well done. Yeah. Felicity and Ugo. I'm fickle, so I've changed what I'm looking for. I am looking for somebody who was duetted live with Taylor Swift. It's just what I like. Okay. I like somebody who's duetted live with Taylor Swift. Very Thank specific. You. But who also has had scientific research on headaches wow. published. <laughs> one of these two people fits the bill. Which one? Matt LeBlanc or Lisa Kudrow? Wow. wow. <laughs> Any answers, babe? I feel like Lisa Kudrow is smart. And I wonder if, ironically, Taylor Swift has duetted with Lisa Kudrow doing Smelly Cat from Friends. I would like Smelly Cat and Taylor Swift. Yeah. I'd, I'd listen to it. I'd download that. I'm leaning more towards Lisa than Matt. Let's do it. Yeah, go Lisa Kudrow. Yeah. yeah. What do you think at home? Agree, disagree? Let's take a look. Is Lisa Kudrow my perfect match? <laughs> Certainly is. Yeah. Yes, you're right. And you're instantly Again. right. She did a duet of Taylor Swift was doing Smelly Cat on stage and called oh, Lisa good. Kudrow up. Hey. And her father was a, a, a research scientist, and so she... Uh, Helped with his research. Very well done, Lisa Kudrow. It was my perfect match, although I tire of her. <laughs> really? And what I'm looking for now is this. I'm looking for someone who was Nelson Mandela's stylist. <laughs> Listen, I like his style. 
Of I course. would like that style, and if I've got that person in-house, yep. it's going to be easier for me. Yeah. Yeah. However, I always like to combine it, and I like to combine it with... someone who's won an Oscar. <laughs> That's what I... That's what I like. You know, it's what I like. So, which of these two people fits that bill? Annie Lennox or Lionel Richie? Either well, way, my mind is blown. I would guess at Annie Lennox, uh, because I know she um, is uh, more political than Lionel. Yeah, I, I think possibly, again, they might have both won an Oscar. I think they probably both have won an Oscar, but I but should imagine it would be Annie only Lennox. Only one then. of them would have the first title, you would have thought. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go with that. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Ginny and I go with Annie Lennox, I think. Annie Lennox. Who was my perfect match? No! Oh. Does it get passed over? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel Richie wow. was the answer. When Nelson wow. Mandela was first released from prison and came to the US... Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, so... Lionel Richie looked after his wardrobe for him. So, pre him being famous singer? No, he was famous at the time. Oh, but wow. Was, you know, it was just it was pro bono, but... Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, the first question we've had wrong in the whole show so yeah. far. Yeah. Amazing. Felicity, Ugo, last question of this round. I wonder if you can find me my perfect match, please. Let's do it. I am looking for... I'm looking for <laughs> someone who has a nine-figure net worth, according to Forbes. So me, I'm... Still yeah. <laughs> and who has an airport named after... Still so me. So that's somewhere in the, in the hundred millions yeah. and has an airport named after them. Which of these two people fits that bill? Former Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands or Usain Bolt? Heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it just? Um, I mean, listen, I like both of them. Yeah. That's for sure. In the hundred millions, I'm pretty sure Usain Bolt had an airport named after him yeah. quite recently. I would... In that, the last few years. That's my vibe as well. Yeah. And you, as you know, I'm very much on vibe <laughs> yeah. rather than oh, yeah. facts. Yeah. Beatrix Airport, that's quite difficult to say. Usain. I mean, I don't know that's how they name airports. I don't think they go, mm, it's too hard to say, we're not giving them one. But I'm, I'm going to I reckon it's Usain. I think I read that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go Usain. You're going to say Usain Bolt yes, is please. my perfect match. Is that correct? What? Oh, wow. Beatrix, Queen that Beatrix. Was so hard. It's the Queen Beatrix International Airport in Aruba. In the Caribbean, so uh, wow. And Usain doesn't have an airport or a hundred million. No, no. Richard is worth over a hundred million. I wonder how she made her money. <laughs> Hard work, manual well, two, labour. Two hundred and sixty million pounds she's worth. <laughs> you won it on, got it on eBay. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> two sixty. Wow. That's amazing. Just for being the Queen of the Netherlands. Can't live a good life on that. <laughs> that is the end of that round for the studio, Joe. If you'll swap back places, please. Hi, mate. Hi, you're right. It's good to be back. Yeah. Lovely to have See you back. You. Um, wow, listen, you both got one right, you both got yeah. one wrong. So again, this leaderboard is going to be Oof. quite something, isn't it? Oh. Yep. <laughs> so we take a little look. So Ugo was in first place. Uh, he's now in last place. Oh, wow. Oh. And Felicity, she was in last place. Now she's in first place. Yeah. Earth is going on. Three points each, everybody. <laughs> Three rounds to go. Who is going to win Tuesday's House of Games? Could not be closer. Let's get amongst them, shall we, with this round, which is... Two clues in one. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is show you a category. And it is 21st Century Brit Award winners, OK? All the answers will be winners of Brit Awards in the 21st century. Fingers on buzzers, please. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some clues to these winners, but also the initials of the clues will also be the initials of the answer. Here's your first clue. Spectre soundtrack. Yes, Ugo. Oh! Um, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. I'm glad that I... I'm glad I explained the rules, though. Felicity. Is it Sam Smith? Sam Smith ah. is the answer, yeah. So the initial oh, SS. Oh, gosh, sorry. SS, and he sung the theme tune to Spectre. Fingers on buzzers. Here's your next one. Expecting subtract. Jenny. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Absolutely right. Subtract being the uh, name of one of his albums. Next Brit Award winner. Did Blackstar. Hugo. David Bowie. David Bowie. Oh, Absolutely nice. right. Well done. His final album. Your next category is Nicole Kidman films. 
OK, which Nicole Kidman films are these? Please, they share initials with the clue. Extremely weird, Stanley. Yes, Jenny. Oh, no, I'm not right. OK, Ooh. we'll time you out. No. But, Joe. Eyes wide shut. Eyes wide shut. The Stanley Kubrick movie, yeah. well done. Nicely played, Joe. Next Nicole Kidman film. Musical romp. Yes, Felicity. Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. It is well played. Next Nicole Kidman film. Those scary women. Felicity. The Stepford Wives? The Stepford Wives? Well done. No. It is the Stepford Wives, Felicity. She's Australian, to be fair. To be fair, she is Australian. Yeah. To be, to, listen, you've got to be fair to the woman. To be fair. To be fair. To be sure. <laughs> yeah, to be sure. Uh, next category. London Monopoly Properties. Wow. Here's your first one. Towering Statue. Yes, Felicity. The Strand? The Strand? Is not, I'm afraid. Yes. Oh, no, no I know what it one, is. There, yeah. Joe. Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't know that was on the map, people. Trafalgar Square. <laughs> Next London Monopoly property. Pricey location. Oh. Hugo. Park Lane. Park Lane? Well played, Hugo. It is Park Lane. Yeah. Well done. Final question in this round. Which Ooh, London Monopoly cool. property is this? Bobby's Station. Yes, Ugo. Bond Street. Bond Street? Mm. It's not. Oh. Oh. Um. Bobby's Station. Um, imagine how angry people are at home. Joe. He just said... Uh, no. No, no, I could say Bond Street. <laughs> you, can, you can say it if you want. You <laughs> think your brain says it to you, and it wasn't. It was his brain it was, said it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Oh. Bobby Station. Have you got this at home? Because it stumped us here. Let's take a look, shall we? Bow oh. Street. Oh. Bow Street is where the police were formed, wasn't it? Bow Street Runners. Right. Yeah. Very well played. If you got that at home, you beat us all here. That's the end of the round. It's still very, very close. It's really close. Look at oh this, Jenny. Gosh. Got four. Joe and Ugo, five points each. Felicity, one point lead. Six yeah. points. Two more rounds to go. There's two points between the lot of them. Felicity was our champion yesterday. Who is going to win today? We will find out very soon. Our fourth round today is... Where is Kazakhstan? Oh, wow. oh my we'll gosh. Take it. Everybody loves it. <laughs> uh, take your tablets out, please. Oh, my wow. oh. gosh. <laughs> this is just music to my ears. I'm going to show you a map. I'm going to ask you to find various things on that map. Here is today's map. Oh, hello. Oh. Map of our old friend, the United Kingdom. And, and where would you find that in the world? Well, listen, that we don't need to know. Oh, but that's we do true. need to know a series of things within the United Kingdom. The first thing I need you to find is the UK town that gives its name to a variety of pork pie with protected oh, geographical indication. I mean, I think this is a good indication. I've been holding my screen like this. Oh, God, this I was. Is, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not New Zealand. Let's try. <laughs> New Zealand with a hat. Wow. That's a great bit of rebranding. New Zealand with New a Zealand hat. New Zealand with a hat. Yeah. Oh, God. OK, everybody's in. Jenny, did you know the answer to this? Well, yeah, I know it's a Melton Mowbray pork Melton pie, Mowbray. and I think Let's see where you've gone. Southwesty. OK, so you're sort of um, Devon-y. I thought it was Yeah, they're there. Well, pasties and uh, stuff well, like that. Felicity, did you know it was Melton Mowbray? Absolutely not. There we go. I went on the East Coast. I don't even know if that's sort of Lancashire area. Other way is uh, Lancashire, Northwest. Yeah. that's me. Northwest is Lancashire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Re I really absolutely know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. So I thought it was in Cumbria. I thought it was Cumbrian. Now you've said it, I know it is Melton Mowbray, but I went Cumbria. You're essentially just you're yeah. essentially thinking of tea bay services. Yeah, I exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly you're what thinking that's where I get pork yeah, pies from. That's exactly that must it. be. Yeah. Um, you're actually in Northumberland up right. there, Joe. Uh, Ugo, did you know it was Melton Mowbray? I did, yeah. Trying to work it out was a slightly different quiz, but is the quiz. <laughs> um, <laughs> I went 
Gloucester, Birmingham, I think you're right. in the kind of way. But I think I've gone too high. OK, let's see where you are. I think I needed to go lower. Um, well, it is Milton Mowbray. That's absolutely right. Uh, so the big question is, where is Milton Mowbray? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Very yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's Leicestershire, Milton Mowbray. So, yeah, yeah, you're very, very close there in Nottinghamshire. Very well played. Point to Hugo. The next thing we are looking for is this. The home ground of the football club taken over by Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney in 2021, the two Hollywood stars <gasps> took over a football club. Oh, I know Which this. football club? And where is it? Oh. Everybody is in. Felicity, did you have any idea of this answer? I have a feeling it's in Wales. OK. And I couldn't remember whether it was North Wales or South Wales, so I put North Wales. I mean, let's pray that I've got Wales in the right spot on the map. <laughs> that would be very After bad for your next tour if you haven't. Yeah, let's take a look at where Felicity is. Yeah, North Wales, absolutely. Joe, did you know this answer? Not at all. No clue. What... It's football again. I have a cold sweats on football. I just don't know. I've gone for Hull. Hull. For Hull, OK. Yep. There you are, absolutely. Pure guess. Ugo. I wanted to go one of two places. I wanted to go southeast or slightly northern, so I've ended up going northern. I don't know why, but that was my instinct. Take a look. Oh, look at us. Manchester, pretty much. Oh. That's dead on Manchester. They play football there. They, they love That's their football sure. there. <laughs> Jenny. I thought it was near us, so I thought Yorkshire way. Ooh. Yeah, you're pretty much exactly on York. So York, Hull... Manchester and kind of North Wales. Let's take a look at the answer, shall we? The answer is Wrexham. And Felicity. Well done. Well, the there. Absolutely right. Well North Wales. Very, very well very played. Nice. Very nicely done. Well done if you got that at home as well. Here's your final question. The first Tate Gallery established outside London. Where is that, please? The first Tate Gallery oh. established outside London. <sighs> What do we think? I've got two different answers. Yes, yeah, same. Hugo, you've always got two different answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK, everyone is in. Joe, happy with this subject? No, not at all. OK. <laughs> not at all. I hated this round completely. Um, pure guess, I've gone for Liverpool. Gone for Liverpool. Yep. Yeah, pretty much bang on Liverpool. Yeah. Hugo, did you know this one? My first answer was going to be Liverpool. And then I thought, you arrogant Englishman, why is everything centred around England? Yeah. So I've broadened my horizons, I've looked outside the UK and I've ended up in Ireland. In Ireland. Don't know why. That's what I've yeah, done. Yeah, just sort of just in from the coast from Dublin there. Uh, Jenny, did, what were you thinking? I went Liverpool, cos I think you're right, but I haven't put it on Liverpool. I think I might have put it on Australia. Let's take a look at where you are. That's terrible, my next city. Yeah, Where's sort of, that? you're kind of Blackpool-y uh -oh, type Oh, it's the area. other pool. Also, they'll think you did that deliberately. That's the thing, <laughs> that, yeah. the, uh, that you know that would be fine. Yeah. Felicity, what were you thinking? Not much, I'll be <laughs> perfectly honest. <laughs> so I've just gone, gone very Rando. similar to my first answer. OK. Just near Hull, yeah. Just near Lancashire, yeah. Been a lot of Hull. Hull's not been right yet. No. Sure, statistically, it's got to be right at some point. Well, let's find out, shall we? Which one was first and who has won the point? Oh. Liverpool was Thank first, you. Joe Pasquale, look at that. Thank you. 1988, and Ives was 1993. Very, very close, well done. Joe, point to you. Tablets away, please. Only one more round before we find Tuesday's champion. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Oh, my this God. is oh, nice close. and close, isn't it? Ooh. Everybody in with a chance here. Jenny, you have four. Joe and Ugo, you have six points each. Felicity, a one-point lead with seven. How about that? Very close. Really, really close. Your <laughs> final round, of course, is... <laughs> answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. A point for a correct answer. Do not forget there is a point off for an incorrect mm. answer in this round. You were all so close to each other. Three points between the lot of you. It's anyone's game. Your first category is... Sitcom characters, those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue above. Smash the clue into the sitcom character, please. Fingers on buzzers, here's your first one. In which Japanese video game series do players catch creatures in red and white balls, then battle with them? Yes, Felicity. Uh, Poker Monica Geller? Poker Monica Geller? Yeah. That's absolutely right. Well done, Poker Monica Geller. 
Puka Monica, next sitcom character. Which children's TV programme about a male delivery worker is set in the fictional village of Greendale? Joe. Postman Patsy Stone. Postman Patsy Stone. Absolutely right. Postman Patsy Stone. Next sitcom character. Which song by US soul singer Luther Vandross, a dedication to one of his parents, was his final UK hit single? Yes, that is Jenny. Dance with my father, Ted. Dance with my father, Ted. Well done. Oh, is right. Well done, beautiful. Jenny. <laughs> Sharing the points out here. It was close going into it. It is still close. Your next category is... Birds. Those will be the pictures. Be a clue above and a bird below. What is the name of Harry Potter's godfather, played by Gary Oldman in the film series? Never seen it. Oh, my husband's going to kill me. I know, my little boy is. <laughs> um... <laughs> so your husband's going to kill you, yeah. your boy's going to kill you, you've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, any Joe, thoughts? Anything, yeah, 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 sure, sure. this coming. Got it. Jenny. Serious Blackbird. Serious Blackbird? It is oh, right. Blackbird, Serious right. Black and Blackbird. Oh. Well played, Jenny. Next clue, next picture. Which green fruit is also called an alligator pear? Yes, Jenny. Avocado do. Avocado do. Ah. Well played, yeah, Jenny. Good. How about that? Really avocado good. and dodo. Avocado do. Next picture. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. We are done. Oh my gosh. For Tuesday, it's going to be very close. Yeah. Listen, on Monday, our champion was Felicity <laughs> Ward. Who is going to be our champion? on Tuesday's House of Games. Felicity oh! by a point. How about that? Oh, I thought I'd lost it. Wow. Yeah. Two points between the lot of you. What a day of quizzing oh, Felicity. Gosh. Held on. Very, yeah. very well done. Yeah. Wow, that was close, wasn't it? So was close. Very close. Good game. So Hugo, you left you two points off the lead and you came fourth again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, doesn't seem, that doesn't seem right, it's does it? It's a tough it? school, this That one. does not... It's, it's a tough school. Right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> what a game. Well played, everyone. Felicity, uh, your second prize of the week. Which of these I are you going to I absolutely love prizes. I'm not yeah. going <laughs> to... I love uh, prizes. Yeah. I feel so good. <laughs> I'm going to get the whiskey decanter for mm. my husband. You're going for the decanter for this award. From the 1950s. I'm going to get a whiskey decanter for my husband. <laughs> He's the <laughs> one that works yeah. in the family. <laughs> also, to go with the toolbox you got him yesterday. No, that's going <laughs> no, for that's me, That's going mate. for you. I've done um, a woodwork course. I know what I'm up to. <laughs> <laughs> well, play Felicity, your second prize of the week. And let's take a look at the weekly leaderboards. Three days to go. Ugo, unlucky to only be on two there after today's yeah, performance. Is... Really? Uh, Joe, uh, you have five. Jenny, yeah. you got six. Felicity up in the lead there with eight. But that was very close. There are going to be lots of twists and turns this week. We've got three more shows. We've got double points Friday as well. Yes. Oh. Great start for Felicity, yeah, though. One. Great start from everybody. Shall we do it again tomorrow? Yes. yes. Excellent. Look forward to it ever so much. Look forward to seeing you as well on the House of Games. It's really heavy. That's lovely, that.